Hey everyone, and welcome to our new video on Conqueror's Blade. We played this medieval warfare game a while ago when it was in its early closed beta stage, and our first impressions were that there was nothing quite like it, but it needed a bit of polish to succeed. About a year later, here we are, invited by the developers to see how it's progressed in a sponsored video. In the process, we managed to secure a cool gift for all of you players willing to try Conqueror's Blade for the first time. A free gift pack consisting of 10 items, including a gold helmet and many battle supplies to start waging war. There's no better time to begin playing Conqueror's Blade than with these rewards and Season 2 coming soon, adding various new features. You can get the pack by going to the link in the video description, register to join the event, download Conqueror's Blade for free, and redeem your shiny free stuff through a web inventory on the game's website. Conqueror's Blade is a pretty unique medieval warfare game with a pleasant wealth of features. Before I get into detail about it for those who haven't tried it yet, I want to start by saying that Season 2 is going to bring some cool stuff. Titled Wrath of the Nomads, this season will premiere a new unit line called Sons of the Steps, inspired by Mongolian warriors. This is in line with other military units in the game, also inspired by real troops from very eclectic origins. I'm very interested to try the promised three new battlefields as Conqueror's Blade has some really nice arena design. The game looks pretty good and the chaotic field and siege battles are usually set in some beautiful environments, featuring intricate layouts that offer plenty of room to prove your tactical expertise. Season 1 introduced the first battle pass and Season 2 is bringing a fresh battle pass with a new set of challenges. There'll be season-exclusive cosmetics to earn, which you won't be able to get by any other means. Other features include additional matchmaking features, improvements to the UI, a new ranking system, player titles, the option to join NPC houses, and more. In Conqueror's Blade, you get to choose your Warlord from 10 weapon classes, each one of them sporting an interesting set of skills with a robust upgrading system. Based on our previous experience, Hero combat seems to be slightly improved, with powerful classes being nerfed and dodges and blocking playing a vital role in the outcome. You can expect some stun lock during one of the fights, but nothing that you can't work your way around using your troops or teammates. Work alone in a game that is so focused around massive numbers and you're doomed right from the start. Sieges are the highlight of the game, as these impressive battles support 15 versus 15 players each player commanding their own units. The battlefield will become crowded as you and your teammates order your units around and operate massive siege towers, battering rams, trebuchets, and mortars, either attacking or defending the castle. It's beautifully chaotic and praiseworthy. Conqueror's Blade is effectively a gorgeous game. If you take the time to appreciate the detail that lies beyond all the agonizing screams and blood on the ground, you can take your troops to the open world fighting for resources and engaging enemies in territory wars. It's a massive warfare game that doesn't neglect the more traditional MMORPG aspects with quests, crafting, and skill trees for your warlord. Conqueror's Blade is a fine game that's growing even bigger with the new Season 2 content and improvements. The player base looks very healthy and I've had no issues with matchmaking. A quick look at the main plaza will show you quite a few players frolicking around, dueling, or abusing that jump button. If you want to join in, and you definitely should, remember that you can get that sweet free pack to get that battle started on the right foot. Have fun, and I'll see you in the battlefield. 